get a great a great story on this from somebody listening. Maybe maybe we'll give you a prize. Maybe. But I'm telling you, man, I was out over the weekend, Labor Day weekend, just going out, checking out some new bars, some new restaurants. I don't know if this ever happened to you. Did you ever sat next to a couple and somebody else comes, third party, like not involved with that couple, and starts hitting on the chick at the table? And you hear, I mean, I hear everything. I see everything. So I'm at this bar. And there's ha- this- by the way, it's happened to me and my girl. We're like, they look at my girl and they look oh, at me and they're like, dog. there's no way <laughs> that dude scored that. I better swoop in. Dude, I'm sitting next to this couple and they're clearly a couple. I mean, at one point they were holding hands. I mean, it, they're a freaking couple. They came together. They're oh, drinking they're together. they're an obvious couple. Oh, it's they're a couple. Right. I mean, right. she wasn't wearing a ring, but they're together. Right. So we're sitting there, and this guy comes up, and he's like, hey, how you guys doing? I was very odd, and he's loud. He's like a loud guy, so we can, I can hear everything. And you can tell at first, they're kind of like, hey, cool, you know, whatever, da 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 Well, the guy in the, in the couple group, he makes a terrible mistake, and he goes to the bathroom while the guy's there. Uh, Not good. No. Not good. So the guy sticks around. This is the uninvited guy. And he starts talking to the chick. And it's very forward. I mean, just like, well, because what are you about- drinking? He buys her a drink while the guy's in the bathroom. Well, he's got about three minutes to make hay. Yeah. So time is of the essence. Right. And so what happened is he, he buys the chick a drink. She refuses. She's like, no, I'm good. Thank you. You know, she had like a half full drink. He's like, no, no, no. Let me get you a drink. You know, so it all happens. He gets her a drink. He gets himself a drink, but doesn't get the dude a drink. Well, as you said, about two and a half minutes later, the guy comes back from the bathroom mm-hmm. to see that this guy had taken his seat. He's sitting next to his girl, who now has two drinks in front of her. Uh-oh. And he's talking very loud. It's all about plans for the night, what's going on. And she's doing her best to incorporate, oh, well, me and my boyfriend are going here, or going there. And da-da-da. he had just moved to Vegas, the boyfriend. So he didn't know anything. Right. And so he's like, oh, I grew up in Vegas, and I could show you this and show you that. So the guy comes back. And mistake number two, he sits down next to the guy, lets the guy stay in the middle. Ah. And I'm like, bro. You got to reclaim your land, dude. You know my saying, don't fight over land you've already conquered. Right. Just tell the guy, hey, this is my space. Get out. Yeah, beat it, nerd. Wouldn't do it. So he sat there. It goes on and on. The guy then gets the girl another round of drinks. And he won't let the, he won't let the boyfriend talk. And the girl's getting uncomfortable. Everybody's getting uncomfortable. And drunk. Yeah. So here's what the girl, here's the girl's play. And if this has ever happened to you, where you're an obvious couple situation, but then you're getting hit on by some douche, mm-hmm. 702-791-1075. So the girl hears her play. She goes to the bathroom. And I predicted what was going to happen. I was like, well, when she comes back, she's going to sit on the other side of the, of the boyfriend. Right. Which is smart. Yes. Goes to the bathroom, comes back, sits on the other side of the boyfriend. The guy, the uninvited guy goes bananas. Really? Yeah, dude. He stands up and he's like, oh, you know, he's trying to be funny about it. He's like, oh, you're not, you're too good to sit next to me. I bought you two drinks. <laughs> and then her boyfriend, her boyfriend finally sacks up and goes, dude, we just came here to drink. We're not trying to hang out with other people and stuff like that. And then he starts mouthing off like, oh, dude, your chick was talking to me. She has nothing to do with you. Da, da, da. Obviously, the bouncers come. They toss the guy. So because it got a little heated at the end. Yeah, that's a, a aggressive uh, hitting on a woman that way. Yeah, it's like the whole drinks and not buying the other guy a drink. You know what I'm saying? Just openly trying to swoop in on another man's girl. And, uh, you know, normally I'd be like, well, you got to give him a knuckle sandwich. Five of these where he sneezes, right? <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you just want to have a cocktail, like you said, and have an enjoying night. You don't have to punch a guy in the nose. So, and you said this happened to you. Oh, see, I take a different stance on it, though. I take, like, I... I think it's kind of cool when someone hits on my chick because that means I did something right. I like that. You know what I mean? But like, what's the line? Like if someone comes up and is like, hey, get naked. Oh, yeah. Then then we're having work. We're having so, a problem, I mean, right? Or if you're touching or, you know, trying yeah, to, yeah, you yeah. know, buy or, you know, pull her aside away from me. You know, then I'm like, yo, dude, you know, then I'll speak up. But I'm always like, I take it as a compliment because when guys hit on my girl, I'm like, we'll see. I'm doing something right. It's a lot better than the other side of it where they're like, ooh. So it's like your girl is is like a stock, and you own the stock, 
And then when people compliment it, the stock goes up. You, you know what I mean? Well, that's a fair analogy. One I won't uh, jump on because in case she's listening, no, that's what I I'm do saying. not want yeah, to compare yeah, yeah. to a stock. A stock, right. yeah. <laughs> but that's exactly what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right, good. So we're both in the same spot. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, dude, i tell you what. That's uncomfortable for people being involved, but that's also uncomfortable for people sitting around you. And I can't imagine oh, yeah. being like a bartender or something like that and having to watch that. Because it was just wildly uncomfortable for everybody involved. And by the way, if someone's that aggressive talking to any woman and that forward, you cannot take a sip of any of those drinks. Because God knows what's in that drink. Well, not only that, too. It, you, you take one sip, then you've basically given the green light. Oh, yeah. You know, like, oh, I approve. All night harassment. Yeah, I approve of what you did, so you can buy me drinks all night. And I think there, man, the chick should have probably been like, look, get away from me. I have rabies. Or something like that. Yes. <laughs> Maybe rabies is a little bit uh, <laughs> forward. but I'm get... crazy. I got rabies. Arr, arr, arr. Well, just make up a story. Look, I just got out of jail, and I just get get the hell away from me. Something. Right. That's the time to tell some stories. I, yeah, you know, the, the, the problem is people get in that situation, though, and they try to, you know, be nice and... Uh, being nice is bad. And not make it awkward, no, which nice then makes bad. it more awkward. And you got to get your chair back, too. Like I said, don't you, you don't fight over land you've already conquered. You got to get your chair back. You go to the bathroom, you come back, some dude's talking to your girl to say, yo, dude, it's my seat. Get that chair, homie. And if he's like, yo, I'm sorry, I'm just, hey, beat it, bro. That's my seat. Beat it, nerd. We don't want your drinks. You stink. Hey, Aaron, welcome to the show. Hi. How's it going? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing good. Thank you for calling. We appreciate this. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, so uh, you got a story about this? Well, first of all, I'd like to comment on it. Yeah. Um, if, if I were at a bar drinking with my man and he got up and left and another man came and sat next to us, right? And then he goes and sits next to that guy. Either he's expecting a drink, too, or I'm going to excuse myself to the bathroom and screw you both. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm telling you, that's exactly right, because the dude kind of gave up on his woman when he got up and said, I'm going to go to the bathroom, you know? I, I, I don't know. Like either you, yep, yep, have some fun with this, or you know, if you're just gonna sit there and let this guy hit on me, then I mean, you, no. <laughs> you know what? Maybe would have been kind of cool, Aaron. And you yeah. sound like the kind of girl that may have done this. Your guy goes to the bathroom, and then he comes back, and you and the other guy are sitting there kissing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No. Or, if, or, or, or how about this, Aaron? What if you go to the bathroom and come back and they're kissing? Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Should not well, have broken the um, seal. First of all, Instagram and then. <laughs> yeah, right. Of course, social media first. So has, has it ever happened to you, Aaron? Not really, right? Um, Actually, it wasn't necessarily at a bar, but it was at a little party that I was at. Um, I'm sitting there, and I know I have my beer and stuff, and he went to go get more beers. And then somebody came over. He was dry. He could smell the alcohol from a mile away from him. And he's just like, he's getting really close to my face. I don't know if he was leaning or just trying. I don't know. But um, as soon as my boyfriend came back, he kind of just turned around and went back in the house. <laughs> Yeah, well, wait, because wait he was second. like, well, zero chance. I'm <laughs> that, talking yeah, no. to you. <laughs> well, that's... I was like, where'd you go? <laughs> that's probably a good ending to the story, though. It could have been a lot worse being that he was all close to your face. I thought he was going to, like, try to lick you or something. Yeah, probably. Um... <laughs> yeah. Do you well, find most I mean, men try to lick your face? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? All the time. All the time, huh? <laughs> you need to get, like, a windshield wiper installed right over your face. It's just... <laughs> 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 Yeah, right on my glasses, huh? <laughs> All right, Aaron. Thank you. Appreciate that. Although I love I love Aaron's thought there. I come back in the bathroom. Me, I, I, she's in the bathroom, but her guy and the other guy are kissing, and she goes right to Instagram with it. Right. Not mad that this is happening no. or confused, maybe. Or, or not having questions about the relationship. Right. She's like, this will make a hilarious photo. <laughs> I'm going to just put it on Instagram. <laughs> or put them on blog. 